Hi guys. Happy, beautiful, and blessed Sunday to everyone. I hope everybody's having a beautiful, blessed day, guys. Um, the weekend is over, right? I mean, look at that. Like we're just just into the year and everything is going so so fast. So today, guys, I'm going to be changing Leah and Liana. And um, right now they're having a great, great time right now. I bought them, I bought them these little, um, I have picked up these little um, figurines, like these little tiny miniature um, <clears throat> dolls. Some of them are from um, McDonald's, like at the Happy Meals. And then others like this is not, it's like um, just... Um, you know, little, a little, little uh, toys, little um, figurines that they they love. You know, they have like the Little Mermaid. Some of them are doubled, like this Little Mermaid, but they love it, and it's perfect because they these two girls. I bought this especially for them because <clears throat> she um oop, my camera. Mm, I was focusing on my hand. <laughs> Sorry about that. She um she loves little toys, so I figured she was gonna love them, and they both love 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 these toys. So yeah, and I bought those um, I bought the whole lot of them. I think um I think it was a lot of twenty nine, twenty eight or twenty nine of them, and they were like uh twenty bucks, and I got them off of Macari, and I'm going to be changing these girls into that Adidas outfit. Um, and, um, yeah, so I, um, uh, before I go on, I want to say welcome to my channel. If this is the first time that you are watching and you enjoy my video, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can get notified when, um, I make a new video. Please, li um, like, sub uh, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. Share my video with your dolly friends so that it can, um, so my channel can continue growing, if you please. I would appreciate it. Um, uh, if you have a channel of your own, please let me know so I could go check you out. Um, I need a new, exciting, um, YouTuber, okay, guys? I need somebody that is exciting and fun, all right? Like, come on, guys, come on, put a pep in your step. <laughs> <laughs> um if um and to my new uh faithful watchers welcome 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 and thank you so much for having me you know for spending your time sorry about the shadow guys guys um i uh will be um going on camera to change these girls but um i kind of started my video off like this because guys um, the last video that I made, uh, well, one of, a couple of videos back, Donna and I went, um, to Once Upon a Child, they had a blowout sale, and I did buy, a, I picked up a couple of things, but I didn't have much money, and then, um, and Donna could only buy, but so much, because she had to, of course, she had to, like, literally ship her clothes, because she had no, no, no space to, um, take all her stuff, uh, back in her luggage, um, but uh, I decided to go back again yesterday because I came across some more money. And I decided to buy a whole lot of clothes so that I can share with you guys. So, I am going to be selling clothes. I'm going to do a live and I want to do it up on next Sunday. No, next Saturday, guys. Um, next Saturday, I'm sorry. Saturday, I'm thinking about doing a live Saturday because my daughter's going to come to help me as well. And it's a day off. So I am going to be selling clothes. But I wanted to show you real quick the madness that's going on in my house because I was sorting all the clothes that I bought yesterday. I bought so much stuff, beautiful stuff. And um, I wanted to show you more or less what I have. And then I'm going to kind of stop the video. And I'm going to plop myself next to my girls so I could dress them. And I also have to, like, get them some, um, you know, hair bows and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, okay. With no further ado, this is all that I've bought to sell. 
so these are all bags guys and there's clothes on top of there on top of there this is all clothes guys um um all this or that okay well actually this is what i picked for myself and i and i got some other stuff because some things i bought for myself um not that i need it but yeah so i bought all these bags and that bag and those two bags of clothes and i have more actually but it's in the back room um because i was so sorting it out um on my bed yesterday so i bought all that stuff and i'm um planning on going live my first live guys so i hope you guys can come and join me and bring your credit card with you or your wallet so that you can um shop with me but anyways guys i'm going to set myself i'm gonna just get some hair bows and some socks and some stuff so i could kind of like um dress the girls i'll be right back okay guys so i am back let me just grab a corner right here. I think. Yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm back. All right, guys. So, yeah. So, I, um, it's been like literally like 40 minutes, okay? It's like my life doesn't go. I can never plan out things, absolutely anything, because there's always curveballs, you know, things that, things always change. But, um, I got them hair bows to match their outfits and matching hair, hair bows. And then while I was looking for socks for them, um, actually bows, I found these matching little unicorn thingies. Um, I don't know if they want to wear them. Mommy brought me them just in case you, you know, want to switch it up. And I also brought, as you guys can see over there, this is my full body silicone um, DD sculpt. Um, I haven't changed that in uh, months, if I tell you, like the beginning of the summer, of last summer. So, I mean, um, and I, I, I picked up a really, really cute outfit um, at the thrift store yesterday that was not on sale. But I still had 20% off, so and it wasn't a bad buy, so um, I'll be showing it to you guys. I really wanted to put it, in, I really wanted to put that outfit on another baby, but I figured I'd bring a, a silicone. I haven't been really, like, playing with my silicone dolls. Um, and uh, I figured I'd just, uh, you know, bring one up, bring one on, and I decided to pick um, Didi because... She hasn't been loved. Um, now I'm looking for the silicone. I brought my passy, but I need the, the lube for her mouth. So, yeah. So, I brought these two girls. I'm going to be wearing this little outfit. This is a two-pack. It came, um, it's an Adidas um, um, footless romper. Long, long, you know, long sleeve, long, um, uh, long pants romper um and it's white it has uh, a dealer the dealer uh, wording oh shoot and you know what i must have dropped it because it's brand new guys they never wore it yeah i must have dropped it and they got a little bit of dirt right there but that's all right and it's a two-pack it's white it has purple um adida wording and it has navy blue flowers light blue flowers pink and purple flowers all over it and then the uh matching one is solid purple um and it has the adidas writing um logo in white so i figured that that they can wear those she's my chocolate drop and she um she's dark skin so i'm gonna give her the lighter one although guys this color is uh, so a uh, banging on um dark complexion look maybe i should give her this mm, look at how pretty that looks right mm, you're so beautiful that complexion is beautiful against any color mommy that's right baby girl you too mommy don't get jealous you're so pretty you peaches and creams but i'm gonna give her this one 
and I'm going to give her this one. That's how I'm gonna do it. No, I kind of like that one on her, but um, yeah. So here we go. I'm gonna just change them up a little bit, and I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about how I'm planning on doing my little my uh, sales. Um, I had to move all them. I moved all the clothes away from here because I had. I was kind of like sorting out the the sizes yesterday. So uh, excuse me, guys. Well, sorry that I'm yawning, guys. I'm like today's a laid back day. It's super cold. My brother wanted, um, he's been wanting a game. He had money for from Christmas. Mm. This is my crack. This is my my drug. This is it, coffee. But guys, I gotta do better. Today is like the fifteenth, I believe, of um, January. We're halfway through the month already, right? And all right, girls. Um, can I just get here? Let your sister. Oh, no, you can hold that one. You can hold that one. Mommy just wants to. You can still play, okay? But mommy needs to change you. All right. She looks so stinking cute in this outfit, and I actually um, have this outfit two times, um, which I didn't even know. Um, and I'm thinking, uh, hmm, I'm just thinking now that I didn't bring any shoes for them because I wanted to just like, you know, um, they've been having these walking shoes on, but I also have another pair in pink, and I was thinking maybe I could just just put them on back on them but i'm not i'm gonna i just brought them some fun socks and um i'm just gonna like leave them there you know just to have socks on so they could be nice and comfortable so like i was saying today um my brother wanted me to take him out to this uh place called um the store called gamestop where they sell a whole bunch of video uh video games and video um systems and stuff like that and he wanted to buy um he wanted to purchase come here mama come here oh, come up front <laughs> say hi to everybody pretty girl she's so stinking gorgeous this little girl i love her so much so he wanted to purchase he has some christmas money and um that they gifted him and he wanted to purchase um, some video games for his system. My brother does not ask for anything, guys. He has an abundance of stuff because his sister's a shopaholic and I'm always buying stuff and I'm always I kind of like yelling at him because he has such a big wardrobe and he's always wearing the same thing. And I'm like, you gotta switch it up. You gotta switch it up. But when he's going out or like when, he, when my daughter's taking him out or whatever, then he wants to switch it up. But, um, Today, he wanted me to take him to GameStop to buy um, some video games. He wanted some a wrestling game. He loves wrestling, so he wanted that. So he, he, he purchased two, um, two games, and the local store, Game Shop, that just, like, literally up the block from me, uh, they closed down, and I, we were bugging out because... They literally closed down, like, I think overnight because I promise you that they were there last week or actually two weeks ago. They were, they must have closed right after Christmas because they were definitely there for Christmas. Um, the, the, the store was still open for Christmas. So, um, oh, mama, you need, she needs like, I feel like she needs more stuffing over here. Sometimes the polyfill goes flat and I think that that's what she needs just so she can support her head a little bit more. You see, she kind of like. She's a baby girl. She's so pretty, guys. Look at her. She's so beautiful. So, yeah, guys, my machine was on. So, I'm sorry. I, I have to apologize for the, um, you know, the washing machine. It was too loud. Um. Oh, my mom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The bracelet just flew off. So, um, uh, he wanted me to go with him to purchase the games that he wanted and um guys i took a shower i got dressed and i um and i just took him to to get his games and guys it is a cold um it is so cold out there today out here in new york and um <laughs> she's 
she got crazy hair. You got crazy hair, mommy. Ah, uh, she needs polyfill. I just, I'm so tempted to like do it right here and right now. Cause I, I just like, yeah, I am gonna do it right here, right now. Because, and it's gonna look a little bit traumatizing, but I really wanna like fill her up and I don't wanna like put her outfit and then, cause then I'm not gonna do it. And everything is, I believe, super convenient right here. So, and it's like a two minute fix. Yeah, so I got the zip tie right here. And I have, let me move this chair. I have polyfill right here, which I have to kind of like re-up on polyfill because my bag is running a bit low and I think I need, more lighting because although the yeah, although that tripod light is very um bright it seems like dark on the back so i got myself a zip tie and some polyfill and we're gonna we're gonna um pop this little girl's head and we're gonna make her a little bit more stable and it's it's good for those that are you know that are afraid of doing this um sometimes it pops easier it's, it's super 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 um easy to fix um and you know um it's good it's good to like always uh know how to fix your dolls right or we'll put them together um yeah so anyway any who's guys um the store had closed and we drove out maybe 20 minutes to the next one those stores are like all over New York because of course, you know, like I think they're all over everywhere because game game the gaming systems are like very, very popular. I'm sorry guys, I'm just trying to like there we go. Get under the the zip tie. And you know what it is, guys? I need my glasses. <laughs> guys. I so need my glasses for everything now and it's so like crazy. Like getting old sucks. Okay, here we go. So, now I can see. But anyways, um, oops, there we go. So, I I took him to get the games, um, and um, I was like, I am going upstairs, and I'm not coming out no more, because it is super, super cold outside. So, I just wanted to, like, take off my clothes and just relax. But then I was like, let me make a video and come online. I'm going to see if I, um come online and um uh, advertise my my sales so that's right let me get her brace oh shoot let me get her brace real quick so that's where i'm at right now that i wanted to kind of um this is a sheet of polyfill like um of i guess this is like if you're gonna make quilts I asked my son, but the whole bag is not that. But I'm going to use this one because it's a little bit more firmer. Um, my son got me the wrong one. But this is good. Like I use it usually to like fill their heads and stuff like that. It's a little, it's a bit firmer. So it's kind of cool. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, as far as my sales. So I am thinking about um, getting um, to make it more... I don't want to sell piece by piece. I don't want to do that because that takes a long time. Um, I was thinking about coming on YouTube um, and um, showing you guys um, what I have. But I'm not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pre. Um, I am going to set up boxes already, um, and the boxes will be like either thirty dollars, twenty dollars, stuff like that. And plus the shipping, right? Um, the shipping, you know, it will go, of course, it's going to be flat rate shipping. So it will go according to the size of the box. And that will be the rate of uh, the shipping cost. That's separate from, of course, from the, from the purchase of the clothes. And I am just going to... Thank you. Uh, uh, who's 
the big girl holding her head now. That's better, mommy. I love her, guys. I love the Liam kit. Pretty girl holding her head up. He's such a big girl now. Okay, we're going a little bit tighter. And there you go. See, now you acting like a big girl. You see? Isn't that better, big girl? That's so much better. Yes, it is, mommy. That's so much better. So, yeah, guys. So, I am going to go to... Well, I'm not going to go to the post office. What I'm going to do is you could actually out here in New York. I don't know if they do it where you guys are at. You know, the the post office, um, postal service is different everywhere else. But out here, you can um, you can order boxes, uh, like the shipping flat rate boxes, and they just deliver them right to the front of your door. So I'm going to I am going to do that. I'm going to put in an order on Tuesday because Monday is a Martin Luther King Day, and we are you know it's a holiday out here. Um, and um, I am going to. Uh, uh, order the boxes to come to my door and then I'm going to just make boxes you know $20 boxes $30 boxes um, of course plus shipping like I said and um, and I will um, I will actually uh, so it's going to be no holes guys I'm not I can't hold I like if you I like you guys seen I have way too much stuff here and I have to kind of like you know sell it as fast as I bring it in so what I want to do is actually um, set up preset boxes already. So it's not going to be like a piece. Oh, like, you know, do you want this one? Do you want that one? No, it's almost like a, like a, one of those surprise boxes. But uh, it's not going to be too much of a surprise. I want you guys to know what's in there. These are all pre-used clothes that I'm selling, guys. I have to say that. I have to stress that. I don't want you to think that I'm selling brand new stuff. I'm not. I bought it on sale. I bought it for a dollar a piece. You guys are gonna buy, you know, um, not gonna get it, get it for a dollar a piece, of course, because I need to make a profit, right? So, but I'm not gonna sell it for the original price either. I'm just going to make boxes and I'm gonna make it, you know, um, a couple of outfits will be in there, like, you know, be a, a nice amount of outfits will go inside each box. And I will let you know, like, there's uh, eight, eight, eight outfits or eight pieces. And then I'll show you. Am I sitting? No, I was sitting at something. I'll show you guys, like, a couple of pieces from each box that you guys can see. And then the rest will be a surprise. I can't um, really um, show you each and everything that's in each and every box. But it will be marked excuse me it'll be marked like box a or box b or box c or maybe one two you know whatever one two three four five each box and then so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to let you guys know my my uh paypal account so if you guys are interested you can let me know um i want box a so like the first is first come first serve of course so like Let's say uh, if you if you if you comment you know you know box A right on um, first, then you will have the first you know I'll I'll mention your name and be like okay you you're the first one to you know to um, comment box A please um send them send the money to my PayPal my daughter's gonna be here as soon as she receives the money um, in my PayPal account. The box will be yours if i do not receive the money for the paypal in my paypal account then i will um honor the second person that comment on the on box a or box b or whatever box and so and so you know um and i'm gonna do it like that because i don't want people just sending money and then you know um i don't want like 10 people wanting box you know whatever one box and you know i just want to like the first person that that comments on the box you know that they're interested in the box will have the will have the opportunity to send over the money um 
to the PayPal account when I, once my daughter receives the money for the pay, uh, for the box in my PayPal account, then the box will be yours. Um, then you will um, send go to my uh, email or because um, I, I guys uh, I don't I don't um, accept everybody as my friend on uh, Facebook, so you can't really like always message me. Um, Cause I don't I get a lot of creeps a lot of people are weird and not only guys but females are I think even sometimes crazier than the men like and I uh, really don't tolerate people too well like that you know I don't have to I don't give my energy to like um, just you know just people that are you know I don't know they just that aren't right but um so I will give you guys my uh, Gmail, uh, my Gmail ad um, um, address, so that um, you guys can send me your mailing information, and that will be on Saturday and Monday morning, a uh, super early Monday morning. I will ship out your um, all the all the all the packages. Every single one of the packages will be shipped out uh, Monday morning. That's how I'm going to do that. Okay, guys. So that is how um, I'm planning on doing it. I, I really do hope um, that you guys are interested. I'm not going to make the stuff. I don't want you guys to think that I'm going to be like, oh, she got it for a dollar and she's selling it for like $10. I don't do that. These are used clothes. Um, you know, they're lightly, lightly worn clothes. Um, I got them all from Once Upon a Child, like I said, um, like right here. This is one of the little tops that I got yesterday. That's just right on top. It's so cute. And I will also be marking the boxes will be like three month old girls, uh, um, newborn, um, you know, uh, newborn boys, you know, stuff like that. I also got just little jean jacket that I think is super stinking cute I was so tempted to keep this for my babies but you know I have I have another um I'm, I'm I'm big on jean jackets I actually got this one for my uh you know what I actually got this one for my um big girl for my bubba so I probably won't um yeah I think this is this is mine and then I also have to stop doing that because um, I don't want to keep all the stuff, guys. I have a lot of stuff, and I think if the sales go go really good, I'm just gonna start selling some of my stuff because I feel um I'm super overwhelmed um with all the stuff. Like I am a shopaholic in the worst way, and um and I think I'm a little bit. I think I've. I don't think I know for sure that I um. I, I I went over overboard um way too much and um it's not fun anymore for me. It's taking away the um, the fun of my um playing with my dolls or my doing anything with my dolls. It's not fun no more to dress my dolls. It's not it's not fun to even go out in the stroll with them no more because everything is like work now. It's not like fun. It's not where it's fun anymore. Just um just for me to, to make this video, guys. Um, you know, like I, I I've made videos in the past saying how it's a lot of work to like prep for these videos, right? Because you gotta you gotta like set up and you gotta like make sure that you got the socks and the shoes and the bows and the pampers and you know whatever you're gonna put on your baby, you know. And it's sometimes when you're doing it off cam, not sometimes, all the time for myself. When I'm doing it off camera, it's like cool because I don't have to like, you know, I'm not doing it to like show anybody. I'm showing you guys what I'm doing, you know, and how I'm changing my babies. Um, when I'm here by myself, it's different. You know, I, I might want to change a baby and then forget the shoes or forget whatever and, and not care. You know, I'm like, okay, you got the outfit. That's fine. You know, but, um, you know, when I'm doing it online uh, on, um, you know, on my, on my channel, um i have to i have to prep everything here first and then so what happens is like i got so much stuff it's so bad guys it's so so bad right that 
um just to get these bowls i had to like move this and move that and get that and get this you know and it was just like it was it's, it's a lot just to get a bowl you know it's a lot just to get a top um if i remember an outfit oh i remember i got an outfit where the hell is it you know because i have so much stuff so in my brain it, it rattles my brain you know like where I'm like, oh my gosh, where's the outfit? Where's the outfit? Where's the outfit? And then I start looking for it. And then after a while, I'm like, you know what? I'm done. And I don't want to make the video. Don't want to change the baby, you know? And so that's basically what I'm going through. And I think I kind of like, um, just like with my shoes, when I used to like um, have the fetish for my shoes and I still have a shoe fetish. I still love shoes. I'm always going to love shoes, guys. Okay. But I used to wear nothing but heels all the time. And now I can't wear heels because I get these crazy charlie horses that want to like you know it's just not comfortable for me anymore but um uh i went nuts buying shoes just because because i was a shopaholic right and i love shoes so then i wind up giving them all away for free it was such so much money that i and i don't care about the money guys honestly i'm not rich i'm so poor i'm in the hood in the projects you know, I'm on a budget. I'm on. I'm on a fixed. Um, on a fixed income, but that doesn't stop me. It's never stopped me. Um, you know, from getting and wanting and doing what I want. I've never, never like my my finances will never stop me because it's like my drive is bigger than my than my finances. And um, my you know when I want something, I get it. I get it. Trust me. And it's it. This is not because of dolls. This is just all my life. It's just who I am. You know, I'm a go-getter. I'm a hustler. Like, I don't let grass grow under my feet. I'm, I'm, I'm up and popping and making moves, you know, all the time. So, um, yeah. So, you know, like, I think I'm really over. Um, I'm not going to say that I'm not going to buy any more dolls. I'm really not going to say that. I'm not. I think I really want to focus on. I actually have a doll on layaway um, that will be coming in February. I'll, I'll finish paying it off in February. I just seen it. It's um, a limited edition, a very, very small limited edition. And I seen it and I was just like, I have to get it as I've been wanting it for a long time. And um, because it's such a small edition, um, the people that did have, um, that did, that did, you know, buy the, the, the sculpt, they um, reborn it and they sell it for way, way expensive. Um, but then I found someone on reborns.com that um allowed me to put it on layaway because the doll is not um it wasn't priced um very um high it was um uh just about five hundred dollars i'm gonna say it it's i think it's like five hundred dollars with the shipping included and um they uh had no layaway plan but you know guys uh another thing also you have to kind of like always even if it says no layaway you know it's a layaway is not an option you guys ask ask because i was just uh just two days ago i was on i was talking to my girlfriend michelle my girlfriend michelle um elizabeth and i'm trying to remember her channel is shrek shrek's girl something i have to i have to kind of like oh i gotta i gotta look it up again because i i wanna i wanna send you guys over to our channel um um so you guys could check her out as well she, her vibe is beautiful i love her she's a sweetheart and she's an artist guys she's an artist she paints um her own dolls and silicone she paints silicone too very nicely um, so, so you guys can check her out. Look at, check me out, guys. Mommy made me nice and, um, stable now. Mm -hmm. You're so pretty, mama girl. And she's nice and comfy, you know, in her little ones, uh, uh, one piece, uh, romper. Okay, so now, where's your bracelet? Right here. So, anywho, um, where, where was I? I'm sorry, guys, I lost my uh, train of thought, um, so that's what happens when you're crazy. You're all over the place. But um anywho, guys, yeah, what I was saying, um, right, about about um my finances not stopping me, right? I'm I've always had that drive. Um I used to collect a lot of shoes, as that's why I was saying. 
and I just gave all those shoes away. I mean, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of expensive shoes that were never, never worn. Um, I just was just collecting just to collect, and I think that um, I've always loved dolls, and um, I'm not saying that I'm not gonna stop buying dolls. Like I like I was saying also, um, I do have one on layaway, and it was affordable the doll that um, I wanted, and I just had to jump on it. Okay, that's what I was saying. Okay, what I was saying was, um, if you guys see a, um, like a doll, like on, let's say on Reborns.com, and it says a layaway is not, is not available, just ask. It, it, you know, the worst that they can tell you is, no, we can't do it. That's it. You got to ask. Because I was, um, my girlfriend was, um, my girlfriend Michelle, uh, Michelle was um, telling me, she was like, oh, my God, I'm obsessed with a doll that's up there on Reborns.com, but um, it's uh, that's no layaway um, plan. And I was just like, you just got to ask because, you know, I, I explained to her like a million times that's happened to me before where there's no layaway plan. And I ask and they say, sure, why not? You know, so um, she did. She asked and the lady was like, she, the lady was fine. She was like, sure. You know, she didn't she didn't mind at all you know um especially if it's just like a couple of days away you know guys if it's a couple of days away sometimes like with me like it was just a couple of days away like maybe like two weeks you know two weeks time before i get pay off my baby it's not like you're asking for you know five months to pay off a, 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 a you know a doll or something like that and i mean that, that's fine too because some dolls are expensive but my point of this whole conversation is like sometimes acts you know like if there's a it says no layaway and you really want the doll don't let it go by because because of what you're reading sometimes people you know will um will honor your layaway you know they'll they'll honor it she's so much heavier than her i mean lighter i'm sorry she's more heavier and do you need polyfill too huh do you need something to hold your head up hmm this baby is painted so beautiful. I, I love this little girl. I love her so much. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. She's painted like she has freckles. And every time I, I dress her, I show you guys. But um, I really love her. Um, so, yeah. So, anyways, guys. Um, So, where I'm at is like where I'm at with my collecting is like I... Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much content way 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 over contempt with what i have and i think i'm feeling almost like i just want to get rid of a lot of things like i want to get rid of like um like maybe some dolls and clothes clothes and clothes um so like if the sales go well um then i am going to go into my stuff like i right here in my apartment i have a lot of beautiful new stuff that i've bought and a lot of nice stuff that i've bought you know pre-loved so um i think i'm going to put up the stuff that i have pre-loved you know a lot of time um a lot of things that my babies have already used once um because everybody like i i tell people like oh my gosh i have an overwhelming amount of things and they're like well why don't you sell your clothes? The thing is, like, in my brain, I'm like, why do I want to sell them if I bought them for my dolls and they still haven't worn, worn them? But, like I said, now at this point, I'm not, it's taking away from my enjoyment of my dolls. Um, it's making me kind of like, I don't, you know, this hobby is not supposed to be a job. It's supposed to be, you know, fun. And I think, like, um, I'm kind of like, it's kind of like taking away the fun of me, the enjoyment, you know, it's taking away that fun factor of, uh, you know, me wanting to interact with my babies because I, you know, I don't want to dress 900 babies because then it's a job to get every the clothes together, the outfits together, right? And then once you finish dressing them, now you stuck with a big old mess. And, you know, that I, when I finish dressing my babies, I don't want to put clothes away, you know. And then the other day when my friend Donna was here for a couple of days, I decided to go through like three, just three bins. 
three bins guys i must have okay right here there's three there there's three up there there's one there we're not talking about in the room you know i have oh i forgot these right here all these stacked up clothes I have clothes all over, all over my apartment, right? Everything is put away neatly, you know, but um, it, the thing is, like, it's just going through it. So, like, I decided to, right here next to me, there's uh, three bins stacked up there. So, I decided, I was like, you know what? Let me see what's in these bins. Oh, my gosh, guys. Those three bins have nothing but new clothes with tags, you know, that I bought, like, um after Christmas, after Valentine's. And, you know, it's a good thing that I decided to um, go through it. Look at everybody. It's a good thing that I decided to open it and go and go through it because there's Valentine's stuff there, like dresses and outfits for boys, for girls, beautiful stuff that I bought at um, Target after, after Valentine's, uh, I believe maybe, maybe even two years ago, you know, and, um, I never, I, I, I buy things, I put it away, and I forget that I have them. So, I think it's time for me to, like, downsize in clothes, downsize in dolls. I think I love my dolls, and I, I, I say that, guys, and then, you know, just literally doing it and parting with them, it's kind of hard, because I, I, like, who would sell her? Who would sell her? Not I, right? Um... And I have sold, I am selling some silicone dolls. I do have uh, silicone dolls that um, I do sell that I have sold. I had like 37 or 38 silicone dolls and I, I, I sold quite a bit already. One, one is on layaway right now. Um, you know, um, and, but I think I'm going to, I have to, I have to like kind of detach my, emotions and just like you know sell a lot of things i want to start off with selling um a lot of clothes so um i'm going to see how this goes hopefully this goes well you know um i invite all of you guys uh to uh come to my sale on saturday um i'm going to come on live i will be giving you um uh, during the week, I'll let you guys know what time I will start because my daughter is going to help me. So she's going to definitely help me, guys. I am blind. Um, and she's going to help me, you know, accept the, um, you know, I'll be showing you the clothes. She'll be accepting the payments and she'll be taking down your information and labeling the boxes as paid and putting your names on it. And getting that ready for you know getting the labels ready for shipping so everything is going to be you know packed up in front of you 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 get to see what's inside the boxes you get to see um you know my daughter um in the background just taking your information she'll be behind the scenes my behind the scenes little um a secretary <laughs> listen okay i um you know, you have to use your kids to help you, right? Because we, we, we've, we've done all the... Mommy, mommy, you don't want to play with your toys no more? Hmm? Do you want one of these unicorn? Um, You want one of these? She got a bow, but maybe she wants uh, one of the crowns. Um, But, um, you know, I mean, I don't know. I have an obsession with... I have an... A comp um, I'm a, not a compulsive, I'm, um, what is it called? Um, I just buy, like, I buy, like, um, a lot, I'm a hoarder, and then I buy, um, that's not the word that I'm looking for, but anyways, anywho, what I'm trying to say is, like, I don't buy one of something, I buy, like, um, you know, 10 of whatever it is, you know, um, and I, I, this year, guys, for some reason, it's so weird. And I was talking with, I was talking to my friend Donna about it. Because when I was driving her um, to, the, to the bus station. Because it just, like, kind of, like, um, dawned on me, right? It's so weird, guys. I think, I think travel is really looking like something that's in the cards for, 2023 for me um if i tell you just even um 
two days ago, another friend of mine, she moved to um, to Florida as well, and um, she bought a home, and she's doing so, so good, and um, she was like, you got to come, you got to come this year, because she just recently got married, but her husband's not, um, um, he's... He lives in he lives in the Dominican Republic and he's going to come to the states in um, she says September so she was like you need to come stay with me before my husband comes in September so then this way we could just like party you know like before he comes and stuff and then I have to be the wifey at home and stuff she was like you gotta come and party with me well not party like do anything wrong but like she bought a a, a brand new Corvette. And she has a slingshot. That's like the motorcycle guys. That's with the three wheels. And um, she's like, yeah, we got to just jump. And she's a lot of fun. So she really wants me to go um, and hang out with her. And I was just like, sure. Uh, another friend of mine's bought a home in Kentucky. Um, and um, a lot of our um, mutual friends are going, are, are going to his house. They did it actually... Uh, this past August, they went to his house and he was like, why didn't you come? And I was like, well, you know, I wasn't invited. I, you know, I wasn't invited. He was like, uh, okay, you know, like you're invited. <laughs> so he lives in Kentucky, has a beautiful big home. And another friend of mine uh, bought, just, just bought a house in, um, he just actually moved. He retired and he bought a house in uh, arizona he's in arizona and he also wants me to go and spend a couple of um days with him in his house um um so my um also another friend of mine's um her birthday is in april her birthday's in april and her kids Unfortunately, her husband just passed away this August, which I, I, I was devastated because, um, you know, I love the whole family. Honestly, the whole family has been my family um, for years now. And we, we were all very close, you know. Um, you know, I loved him just as much as I love, like, I would visit her. And, you know, Ron was just, just a beautiful man. And he loved my daughter and my kids and... You know, uh, they just been, we, we just, we just, we've just became family, all of us, right? Mm -hmm. His family, her family, my family, you know, my kids, we just all, they, we all know of each other. I know all the kids, everybody, you know, the grandkids, I watched the grandkids grow and, um, it was just very devastating, but, um, so her husband passed away and she has a, she has a lot of, a lot of grown kids and grandkids and, um. They um trying to keep her busy and occupied and they just want her to like travel and, you know, um experience, you know, traveling because she doesn't really like she hasn't really like travel uh, like to other countries and stuff. So anyways, long story short, her oldest son said, Ma, for your birthday, I am going to treat you to Mexico. Um, and I'm gonna pay all inclusive, uh, all, all, everything paid for you and a friend. Pick a friend, and let me know. And you know, if you could get somebody to go with you. And she picked me, and I'm super flattered. And I'm like, hell yeah, I want to go to Mexico. <laughs> so, and that's gonna be in April. So, yeah, guys, all of this. It looks like travel is like i don't know it's so weird right um it's not nothing none of these trips i planned none of these trips are trips that i said oh i want to do this or i want to do that um and everything is like um these are all trips that are like <laughs> look at my girls guys they look so stinking cute these are all trips that are like not really going to be expensive it's not like i have to you know i just have to have spending money and i have to you know um also my friend donna she's going to um the um the doll show and she she keeps asking me she really wants me to go she's like please you can you know we already have the hotel we're, we're driving 
you know, we can go. Let's just go. She really wants me to go with her. Um, she's going with her husband and she just really wants, you know, her husband, her husband, um, you know, is that into dolls? You know, I mean, you know, he's that into, he, you know, he's into whatever she's into, but like, he's not like loving the doll things the way we do, you know? So she, um, she re she's been asking me to go with her as well. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm like, you know, I, I don't know yet. I, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to, but I'm kind of like leaning towards like, okay, I guess I'm going to go. Um, and I actually will find out Monday how, um, you know, I don't know. Things are looking like, things are looking like it's just meant for me to travel this year, you know? So I'm just like, wow, if I go to all these trips, you know, um, you know, everything that I'm invited, you know, my son is also in Florida and he's in Miami, Florida. And he keeps telling me, you know, Ma, when are you going to come? When are you going to come? So you got to come. So, you know, I'm just looking like, it looks like travel is meant to be, I'm like, and you know, in the future, in the near future for me. So, God willing, you know, if that sounds, if it looks good, I mean, I'm, you know, I'll take it. You know, guys, I love to travel. I love to travel. I, I love going places. I'm not afraid. I'll get on a plane and go somewhere. I've done it like a lot of times. I'll just go, hop on the plane and I'll just go somewhere, you know, don't even know where I'm at when I get off the plane, but I don't get scared. I'm like, hey, I'm going to look this up and I, I I get there, you know, but um, and and when I do get there, I enjoy it. I enjoy the food, I enjoy the culture, I just, I embrace wherever I'm at. But for me, traveling is not, like some people would like, like my daughter, my daughter wants, my daughter, she loves to travel. She's young, she wants to travel every year for her birthday, she wants to be someplace new, right? This is, uh, for December, she went for her birthday, her birthday is December 1st. For December, she went to Cabo this year. You know, um, she's been traveling. She just wants to get that passport <laughs> stamped. You know what I'm saying? She wants to experience, and that's beautiful. I tell her, do it. You want it, do it. You have to do it. Don't ever sit and, um, you know, on a thought like, oh, I wish, but, but, I, but I have this, and then my finances. If you make your finances and your bills greater than your than than your dream and then that's what it's going to be it's just going to overpower what your mind will take over whatever you give it the most energy you understand so if you guys be like um oh guys honestly if it was for me with my finances I wouldn't have a doll. I wouldn't have never traveled. I would have never had the wardrobe. Like, guys, I'm, like, super in jeans today and, like, this old rose doll shirt, like, you know, uh, shirt. Like, I'm not even, it's Sunday, I'm relaxing. But, guys, if I show you the wardrobe that I have, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous, guys. It's It's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, the stuff that I have, okay, it's crazy, it's ridiculous, everything, the jewelry, the, 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 the way I have dolls, I have name brand bags, I used to have like a fetish with bags and shoes, and I would find like Gucci bags, and you know, and Louis Vuitton bags, and stuff like that, and where do I have them, all stuffed in a closet, like, like, regular $10 bags, and these are, like, $100,000 bags, like, not $100,000, but, like, you know, $3,000 bags, $5,000 bags, and I have them all, like, you know, they're, they're duffel bags in a closet, like, why, like, why, you know what I'm saying, so, I think that, I think that, you know, if you overpower, if you want something, you can't live your life on a wish. Oh, I wish I had this. Oh, I wish I could do that. No, you got to be like, I want to do that. And this is how I'm going to do it. And you have to, you have to do a strategy. You have to do, you have to hustle it. You got to think about, you know, oh yeah, you have bills, but you know, um, if, if you really think about it, even with bills, right. And, um, with, um, not having a large amount of money, right? Um, if you really think about it, you every day or, or every month, let's say, you will um, 
probably say, oh, you know what? I'm going to, I need another pair of shoes or I need, or I want another pair of shoes or, you know, like for me, I don't care. I don't care what bill I have. I don't care what it is. I, I, I take from Peter to pay Paul or I make it work for me, you know, but if, um, what I notice is like, uh, when I have, when I, when I get paid and I get my money, um, I, I will go out to eat, um, a couple of times or like, I used to always like, you know, guys, I love my iced coffee, right? I used to always be in the street. And if I tell you, I used to pay star, um, not Starbucks, but, um, Dunkin Donuts. Oh my gosh. I love the Dunkin Don the Dunkin Donuts iced coffee, the French vanilla. If I tell you how many of those things, them things are like five dollars for a cup. And I wouldn't buy one. I would buy like six of them a day. Okay? Like every time I go outside, I spend money. So I stopped going to Dunkin Donuts. Okay. I stopped going to Dunkin' Donuts. Like, I don't go to Dunkin' Donuts anymore, you know? Like, if I really wanted one and I'm outside, I'll, I'll, I'll buy it. I'm not going to deprive myself. But what I'm saying is, like, you have to learn where to cut, cut corners and take that money and save it. And then you put it towards your goal. You put it towards your thing. And, you and you know, what comes out of your mouth is super powerful. Super powerful. So, if your mindset is on, I can't, I won't, I there's no way and and everything is a negative 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 out your mouth you're never gonna accomplish anything you're gonna stay living your life you're gonna waste away your life living on a i wish i wish i could i wish i had i wish i did i want to do this but you won't do anything okay it's mind over matter guys everything is mind over matter and if um and if you don't mind it it won't matter. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't put your mind to it, it won't matter. It won't happen. So that being said, I'm a, that's, that's um, my cup is always super overflowing. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I go to pantry lines so that I can save money on food. You know what I'm saying? I'll hustle one day and I'll get shopping loads of a, a shopping cart loaded with, with food that I bless two and three of my neighbors and my daughter, you know, and, and I'm good. You know what I'm saying? And I save money for myself. I have an abundance of food to give away, to like to, to eat, to give away and to, you know, to bless others. And it's a win-win. You know what I'm saying? So you have to have like that positive attitude. You have to have that positive mindset. Like I want it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to save. I'm going to do it. Even if it's a dollar a day. You know, if you want, oh, like some people might be like, oh, I want a silicone so bad is my dream. Listen, stop dreaming. A dream is just not real. You know, you have to, you have to make that dream reality, guys. That's, that's where I'm going. You know, don't, don't, don't keep something you want a dream. Don't do that. You know? Like, I'm like on a, mommy, can I put this boppy on you guys so I could dress your sister? Mm -hmm. Guys, I collect these Indian blankets, which that's another thing that I'm going to stop doing because I have like 150 different ones. My friend Donna bought me this one. I was like, I don't have that one. And she bought it for me, guys, when she was um, here. I had no money and she bought this one for me. It's so beautiful. I love it. So I'm going to lay this down. And I'm going to dress this little baby. This is, again, the DD um, scope. She's a full-body silicone baby. Her hair is in a mess. She hasn't had no love in many, many months. And I feel so bad. But we're going to hook her up today. Today's the day, mama. So, yeah, guys. So, you know, that's... um. That's how, you know, that's how I live my life. That's That's how I was brought up to, like, to think and you know, and to believe, and, you know, I mean, I promise you guys, you know, I promise you guys, it works, it works, it works 100%, it works, it's all about a mindset, guys, it's all about a mindset, you know, um, um, you know, you have to also be very thankful and grateful, give God, give God grace, give God, um, thanks, you know, be thankful for, you know, don't live in a slump, like in a depression slump, like, 
you know, I understand, guys. I, I, I don't want you guys to think that, oh, you know, my life is perfect. My life is not perfect, guys. And I do suffer. Um, depression is a really, really serious thing. I wanted to, like, make a video on that when, um, you know, um, because there's been a lot of su suicides. Um, a lot of people have taken their lives over depression. And, um is um is is you know it, it hurts like it, it hurts it hurts my soul my spirit when i hear that people take um their lives because i suffer from depression myself and um it's really hard to um you know i like when i when i when i get in a funk i don't give myself i try not to give myself more than a day of feeling down and out and then even if i don't feel like getting up even if i'm you know my spirit is down and you know i'm feeling in the slump i i have to get myself up and i have to kind of like get myself up moving and even if i don't have the energy i i push myself out of that because it's so so hard to push yourself out of a depression and it's so easy to just end everything it's just so easy you think you end everything and then and, and your problems are all gone right you don't have to do anything you don't have to feel anything you don't have to but it, it unfortunately it doesn't that's that's not the game plan guys that's not the game plan okay that is so not the game plan you know it that's not how that's not how how life is set up okay so um if if you take you know if you take your life you know we are um okay here it goes so we are um we are born and we are given this opportunity to live here right to to, to be here right to walk this earth and um let's say that you are scheduled on this planet earth to live for let's say 50 years and out of 50 years uh you're gonna have you're gonna have to experience let's say 10 years of you know of a misery you know it might not be um or 10 years straight or it might right but you have to suffer sadness and you have to experience whatever is planned and in your cards to experience of sadness right um and you can't deal with it and you decide to take your life so guys you know what a lot of people don't believe in life after death but um we are you guys believe in jesus right or you believe in in um god's god's uh well not everybody right some people are atheists and they don't believe in anything and 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 just not, no higher being right and respects to everybody but this is what um what i believe i believe that there is life after death and um time on on uh our planet is man-made you know we created time um time is not supposed to be time <laughs> it's just you know it's supposed to be timeless it's just you know in and you know the days going by right um but m man created time and it's not a golly it's not something that god created right uh, so um it's not God's timeline is what I'm trying to say. God's timeline is different from our timeline. There is time, but there's, it's not like uh, the way we have it, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 60, you know, 365 days a year. It's, it's not, that's not God's time. That's our time that we created for us, right? So when we cross over, that is our time to cross over is because it's our time god has created that time limit is done but when we cut that time because we think we're going to get away with not fulfilling our 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 time here you know you have to still uh pay the price that you were supposed to pay as for being you know like like if you had 10 years out of your 50 years of living that was supposed to be you know um not the happiest time of your of your life uh when you cross over then god's timeline is different from our timeline so god's 10 years that you was your your 10 years that you were supposed to like not be the happiest or experience the best times 
might be like one day might be you know five of our year time you know, of our time you know five years of our lives could be one day crossed over and you still have to fulfill that time you know and uh you feel you're supposed to feel like everybody's sorrow and pain and stuff like that so if you can't deal with your own sorrow and pain here i don't want to have to deal with somebody else's sorrow and pain you know crossed over because you know um we all have different experiences and some experiences are like really sucky more than the others right like like um for, for, for true story right my neighbor downstairs one of my neighbors in the building um well he actually just told me that he lives on the 14th floor which at 14h i think he said or 15h i don't know i know that he's a gentleman that lives in this building a spanish gentleman that if i tell you this man he is he's so healthy so alive um he looks like he he acts he exercises every day and um this man looks like he's maybe 62 63 years old guys if i tell you this man is 83 years old 80 three years old and he walks straight and he has his fatigue is like he you see him he, he he swims he jogs he looks absolutely freaking like incredible so this is the little outfit that i got that i just look it has like a little bit of sparkle in it i love it it's like um camouflage gray and grays and blacks and and it has the little footies and then it has this, the matching super duper hat this is one i i fell in love with this right but then this was inside because it's a two-piece but look at the the hat has this fuzzy soft bow it looks like like mink almost <laughs> i love it so so this gentleman he had told me like a while back he had mentioned how he swims every day because he had just came into the he, we got into the elevator and um together and he was telling me how you know he was exercising it was this was like a while back um in the summertime and he was telling me how, like his exercise routine and how you have to keep your mind occupied and you have to keep it moving and he was telling me that he's been married for over 60 years he told me like 60 something years he's been married with his wife and unfortunately his wife was a bed bound and he was um you know he was he was he was his caretaker he was her caretaker you know he, he he was like um i love my wife she's not doing too well but i love her so much i will i will never leave her i'll take care of her to the end right how romantic i was just like god i love him right i love her i love i love the way he loves his wife right and just so anyways the reason why i'm bringing this up is because i just ran into the to him like uh three three or four days ago i ran into him in the elevator and i was like how are you doing how was your wife and he was like oh you didn't know my wife passed and i was like what i was like oh my goodness i'm so sorry guys he went on to tell me that four of his his family members his oldest daughter was 54 she passed away his wife passed away like uh a month later his pa his wife passed away then um his wife's sister his sister-in-law passed away and the daughter that passed away her mother-in-law like uh, like her mother-in-law passed away all in five months all in a period of five months and this man, like, you know, like he looked so sad and he just went and he started crying. Like he was just like very like broken and, and sad. And um, she's so cute. Look at her. Um, and, you know, I, I just felt so bad. Right. And, and he was just like telling me how, you know, he misses her so much. And like any any little thing reminds reminds him of her. Like, um, like he said, like, I'll pick up a comb and it was like her favorite comb or it was like if I... If I'm gonna eat cereal and it was her favorite cereal like that and he was just like I, I'm I'm just so distorted he told me and he was like you know we were together for I think he said 63 years that they that they they were married and he was like I never left my wife and I'll never leave her you know and I was just like oh my god like like what do you say right like that's hard you know that's really really hard and but 
that that being said is like you know i couldn't i couldn't i couldn't and i'm still trying to cope with my mom's um passing that um it's gonna be 11 years and i'm still like really like taking it hard like i it's still hard you know for me like i just recently you know can like talk or maybe like now past like may it's been like now maybe like three four years that i could like talk without you know be crying about it but needless to say i might cry after the video right because i'm thinking about it um but you know um i'm just saying that you know suicide is not the answer guys suicide is not the answer like when the the grass is not green on the other side is basically what i'm just trying to say i said all that and i should have just said that from the beginning right but you know you guys got to stay positive life is not easy but it is a gift you know and um it is a gift you know and we just got to make the best of it and you know every single day you don't don't the mind is a powerful thing and depression is really really hard guys you know to like it's easier said than done so i don't want you guys to say like or think like oh she doesn't understand i do understand you know i was on very 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 heavy medication for um depression guys like they used to have me on xanax like uh you know um for a while you know and um you know and i needed it i needed it but the thing is like you know getting off of it you know you can't you can't make excuses for life and and think that you know medication is always going to be that it, you know it's not healthy it's not good and you know you just got to stay motivated you got to stay positive it's hard it's a battle in your brain it's in your head and it's a battle in your brain and how you feel and emotion you know em emotions is hard it's hard you know um but um that being said guys you know life is beautiful and you know it's every day is not going to be you know a walk in the park every day is not going to be you know um you know the best or the happiest always it's, it doesn't it doesn't play out that way you know it doesn't play out that way you know where there's good there's evil you know when when you know and you just gotta it's all about prayer and you have to be thankful and you have to like just believe in god sometimes you have to just not sometimes all the time you gotta you gotta just put it all in god's hands and you have to really like honestly like that you know guys i don't want to make this about i don't want you guys to think that i'm um super religious because i'm not but i'm very spir spiritual and god just wants to thank you he just wants you to believe in him he wants you to be like you know what bam it's all in your hands and you know he 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 wants he wants that he wants his respect you know and um once you do that things will be better you know you you have to like believe believe in god that's su super 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 you know important and that's what really works that's what really really works honestly um that's what really has been working for me you know through my <laughs> through my hardest time now she looks like a boy oh she would have made a cute little boy but she's a girl she's a girl um you know and a lot of us i noticed like a lot of um doll collectors um we use these babies um to kind of help us cope with you know the craziness that that we have to deal with right they kind of like um they kind of like soothe soothe our you know misery right like our you know um you know it, it does for a lot of people you know i mean um it, it kind of like soothe. you know I, I mean i just like to play you know but there's nothing wrong um for your babies to be a therapy doll not at all you know that that's 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 not a that's not um that's not a bad thing at all um my bird rocco was my therapy when uh, my mom passed away he was a gift um a gift from my son so that i can be occupied <sighs> boy did he occupied me um but he was my therapy um bird and then that's you know he, my my therapy so you know there's nothing wrong with having your dolls and 
you know playing with them and if people look at you um different or like they you know they want to be judgmental who cares who cares about what people think who cares about how they feel about it you know who cares is they 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 got that that's how they feel you know you know what they feel doesn't doesn't make you feel any better you have to like kind of like do whatever makes you feel better you know if these dolls work as therapy um for whatever misery um you know uh, or uncomfortable um things you're feeling then i i'm all for it i'm all for it for whatever reason you guys um you know like your dolls or whatever it is it doesn't have to be dolls some people like other things you know i mean i'm all for it i think that i'm just all for for um healthy you know you know healthy you know life and um you know for your mental to be right because it's hard you know living living life is not life is not an easy gift you know it's not an easy gift at all it's really really hard um you know and so you just gotta like do it to the best of your ability guys you know just don't take your life you know that's not the answer and you're gonna leave a whole bunch of people that love you and care about you and grief you know because that's what happens you know you you um you you know you leave you leave your loved ones sad and you know depressed and it's hard oh my goodness this outfit is super cute but it's super um it's it's six it's six months but it's a long skinny outfit i think it was like meant for a, a long skinny baby oh my goodness oh my goodness i'm gonna pull her hair <laughs> Does she have earrings? Wow, she don't have no earrings. Oh, she's about to get her ears pierced. Oh, guys, look at my little snow bunny. <laughs> this doll moves so beautiful. I paid, I paid a lot of money for her, and I seen, I seen somebody else selling theirs for like way like cheaper because she's an older model. But she is super, super stinking cute. This baby, I love her. She looks so realistic. Look at her. Yeah, she looks so pretty. I love her. She feels so good. And she's heavy, guys. And just like the way she moves is... Oh, it's, you see that? How she bops her head. And you could put her like this. And she just she just cuddles. <laughs> Anywho, guys. I'm going to just cut this video. Because this video is like an hour and a half long. Okay? So it might not even upload. And then that's going to really, really suck okay guys all right guys so that's the end of my video i hope i didn't ram and ram on and on but i hope and i pray that um if you guys are in a slump that um that you could just listen you know mind over matter if you're feeling down and depressed just jump up jump in the shower wash your butt wash your face wash your hair wash all your body say a prayer ask for strength ask for you know ask for help you know anything that can that you feel like that, that can help you spiritually and take a walk take a walk even if you don't have no money if you don't have no place to go just take go get some fresh air that's gonna make you feel a lot better guys okay um i love you guys so much guys also please save your little channel so that you can shop with me on saturday i really do hope everybody like um comes out to shop and um to get some pieces um i'm gonna make i'm gonna try my very best to make the boxes um really like i'm gonna set them up really nicely for you guys um and i really do hope that it works if it does i'll continue i'll go into my stuff and i'll start selling it my own stuff and um yeah guys and that's my video for today it's long enough right Love you guys so much. God bless you guys. Stay strong. Stay powerful. Save your money for whatever is in your cards that you're dreaming of. And, um, you know, God, it's how I end my video. Guys, keep God first. Say a prayer. Be thankful. Be grateful. And be kind to one another, guys. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.